Yeah, good day again, uh, YouTubers. Um, just wanted to quickly talk about uh, just a real quick video actually today. Just wanted to talk about the uh, ignition lock on a BA Falcon. I got a phone call from the old girl the other night saying that her car had uh, stopped. It wasn't doing nothing at all. She'd turn the key and it just wouldn't even return. Uh, so I got on the internet and there's heaps of videos out there to uh, to, to explain it to you. That sounds like a pretty common sort of a problem with the uh, with the BA Falcons. Um, so I've got it brought home on the back of the tow truck, tray truck. Thanks to um, Steve at Carmen's uh, towing there for bringing it home for us. Uh, set about uh, repairing it. I took the uh, steering column, dropped the steering column down, took off all the shroud and everything, of course. And the back of the uh, the back of the uh, ignition was just sort of flopping around in the breeze. Uh, put it all back together again. Uh, went to hit the key and absolutely nothing, no lights would even come on or anything. Uh, so I went into town this morning, um, into uh, Leicester's Automotive and spoke to uh, the boys in there. Um, Shane is absolutely bloody fantastic, he's a real whiz with electronics. Uh, and he said it should just be a fuse um, near the battery. So I changed the fuse, expecting just to hit the key again and away she'd go, but that wasn't the case. So I thought I'd better pull her apart and have a look to, to see, obviously, something wasn't quite right for it to blow the fuse immediately. So I pulled it all back apart again, and um, I couldn't really see anything wrong with it, to tell you the truth. So I put it back together again, uh, replaced the fuse, hit the key, nothing again. Had a look, the fuse had blown, so I knew that there was something certainly going on there. So I uh, thought I'd best pull the the uh, the, the, the the uh, plastic bit there off the uh, lock again and have a bit of a squeeze. Uh, lucky I've got a, uh, a, another uh, fair lane sitting there that I could use for spare parts. So I pulled it out. This is what the uh, old one looks like. It's sort of a bit hard for you to see there. But you can sort of see where it's been arcing across just in that area there. That thing there uh, sitting up a little bit high. When you look at what they're supposed to look like. It's got the little plastic uh, locator there to stop that arm from uh, making contact with the uh, brass plate, the, the copper plate or whatever it is um, for the uh, for the ignition system. So uh, yeah, pretty much that's it. I'll, hopefully that will sort the problem out. But I'm not sure whether anyone else has come across that problem. If it is, the chances are that little tiny little baker light lug there that holds that thing down will have broken. So I'm going to stick this thing back together again in a minute. Now that I uh, think that I've found the problem, and it uh, hopefully will be sorted out. So thanks again for Steve at Carmen's Town for bringing the vehicle home for us, and uh, thanks for the boys in at Leicester's Automotive, Dave and his uh, and his crew in there. They're fantastic blokes, Danny, Danny uh, and Shane. They uh, they'll fix just about anything, I guess. So yeah, uh, thanks for that, YouTubers. We'll catch you again. Hooray.